In this video, we're going to be taking a quick look at the brand new recently released Waves IDX Intelligent Dynamics Processor. So let's dive in. Hi everybody, thank you for joining me. My name is Marcus Huskins. If you're not yet subscribed to this channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit the bell icon so that you can be made aware as new content becomes available. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Waves IDX, which as of the 2024 Black Friday is a freebie plugin that you can get. I don't know how long it's going to be free. I haven't read any of the marketing or the copy, but I know it's free right now. So if you're watching this video, head over to the website. I'll make sure I leave some links in the description below so you can sign up and get this plugin. Now, first of all, disclaimer, I have been working with Waves. I did create some content surrounding Waves IDX for Waves directly, which might be available on either their YouTube channel or the Wave Social, so I just wanted to get that out of the way. That being said, I am not being financially compensated to create this video. Waves didn't ask me to create this video. They don't know I'm creating this video. The reason I'm creating this video is because Black Friday sale, I just got a new softbox light and I wanted to try it out. So let me know in the comments down below if you like the new look of the lighting and the backlighting. Okay, so now on to, I guess, second disclaimer. I have no idea what I'm going to do. I pulled in some stems of an amazing song that uh, I did a Dolby Atmos for and did the vocal production and recording. So I just pulled in these stems because I want to show you how awesome this plugin is. Okay, so to start off with, uh, I have an instance of IDX across every single one of these. Let's listen to the whole track with nothing on it, just the stems as I printed from my final mix. <laughs> Okay, awesome sounding song. I'm a little bit biased, of course, but I love this track. It's got a ton of punch and I really like the vibe of this track. Let's just start bringing in IDX. I'm not gonna go too deep into this. There's gonna be a lot of videos covering this. Uh, pr probably mine could potentially be one of them. But essentially you have a plugin that has a way of dealing with dynamics and it's really, really smart. So it takes a look at the actual signal material and it makes some intelligent decisions that says, that basically whatever's happening underneath the hood, this stuff over here is taking up headroom. Let's just kind of compress that or, or get it out of the way. And this is the actual center frequency range. This is what should be highlighted. So let's just bring that up and kind of like a fairy dust thing. I'm not exactly sure what's going on un underneath the hood other than I know that there's a lot of different multi-band processors that are working together. But it's really, really easy. You essentially have one knob. Let's listen to the bass, and I wanna make sure that we're at a spot over here where the bass is playing. So let's just bring this plugin in, and I'm just gonna start dialing up this main parameter over here. Okay, watch this. Okay, so obviously we're adding a ton there in terms of what's happening with the bass. And that is because we're really, really pushing this. But let me pull this down to something a little bit more moderate. It just sounds better. You just A, B it and it just sounds better. Now, in addition to just having this one knob that you can dial up, you can also adjust the speed. Notice how this is kind of clamping down on things, or you can kind of free things up a little bit. And then you have a tilt. As we tilt things, let's push this up higher. You can definitely hear the difference there. We've thinned it out. And now we've just thickened it up. Now, in addition to that, let me reset this tilt just for a moment. In addition to that, we can also click, hold, and drag to move this one center node, and this is gonna kind of do the same thing. So check this out. And then by holding the command modifier or control on a PC, you can click this node and it kind of switches between uh, kind of like a, a shelf mode or a bell curve, and you can switch this between the top end or the bottom end. So you have a lot of different ways that you can control things. But the thing that's interesting about this plugin is you don't even really need to do any of that. You can just dial up this one knob. So let's go through really quickly, now that we have like a really basic overview, and let's just set this one at a time in isolation, and let's see how it sounds together. <laughs> Okay, let's say that we're good with that. Now let's move on to, what do we have? The background vocals over here. Let's listen to these. Uh -uh. 
Okay, now let's move on to effects, Fox. Maybe I want to doll this out a little bit. Okay, now let's move on to this one over here, which is what? Oh, the guitar. Actually, you know what? At this point, I really need to do this in context of everything. Let's bring these in together. Let's, let's push this. I like that. Now, what's this next track over here? This is keys. We have some keys over here. Just one knob. Dial it up. Done. Okay, let's move on. What do we have here? This is our main vocals over here. Let's hop in. No te equivoques conmigo, que ya no somos ni amigo, y ya yo no he hecho pa' atrás. I'm going to bring in my other tracks, too. No te equivoques conmigo, que ya no somos ni amigo. Okay, perfect. Let's move on. And I, I'm doing this pretty quick here, and that's kind of the point. Okay, palmas, that's the clapping that you hear. Um, let's isolate that. Let's bring this in. And maybe I want to use this here, bring out a bit of the body. Or the opposite. I want to bring it out though. Okay. Too much. Okay, what else do we have? We have some effects. Let's bring in, oh, let's bring in the percussion. This is going to make a huge difference on the percussion. Let's bring this one in right over here. Much brighter, much more low end. Okay, now I'm going to bring in the sax. Let's bring this in. Let's make these a little less bright. And then what do we have here? Let me bring this in. Big difference. Well, okay, maybe too much of a difference. Let me pull it back a bit. Okay, what did we miss? We have the perk effects. Uh, did we have anything here? Let's bring this in. I just, I'm gonna, I don't even know. I'm just gonna dial this up. Okay, perfect. Now, we've just very quickly kind of set this up, and I, I'm kind of just, I'm pushing this really hard so that we can hear it, but let's take a listen now to everything in and out. And let me play it from here. Okay, not completely fair because we have a huge level difference there. Now, in terms of, you can use this plugin anyway. This is why I love this plugin. You can use it any way that you want. Let's say that you had a situation just like this, where maybe you had a mix that you needed it to just, you needed to bring some life to it. It was like 80% there and you needed to get to like 105%. You could just put this on your subgroups, so you could put this on individual tracks, and you could do exactly what I just did, which is just push it, and you're just enhancing everything. But this plugin is kind of making some smart choices in terms of what needs to be brought out. But another way that you could use this is at the start of a mix, because here's the thing. This is my final mix. It did go to mastering, and the master sounds slightly different, but this mix is very much done. It's balanced, it's got punch, it's got clarity, it's got saturation, and I'm happy with this. 
obviously any time that you take anything and throw it on some stems and make it louder and a bit brighter, it's going to sound like immediately you're going to think, oh, that's better. But here's the thing. I wouldn't necessarily do exactly what I did here. If I did want to improve this and I wanted to kind of do like a stem mix and, and, and have one more, you know, approach to make it sound better, I would definitely spend a lot more time and I would work the way I always work. I would solo things like vocals and bass together and then bring in the drums and then bring in reinforcements and background vocals. And I would do everything in context with each other against all my previous decisions. Because right now when I A-B this, I hear some stuff where I'm like, oh, I, I lost the warmth and the... Uh, the girth of the bass that I like, it's got too much bite. It's now interfering with maybe the percussion. Just in terms of an AB, in terms of showing how easy this plugin is to use, it's incredible. Now, also you could use this on your main outs. So I'm going to just, let's go to recent and let's grab the Intelligence Dynamics stereo instance. And now I'm gonna put some on the main outs. Okay, let's do a before and after with everything from every single plugin that we're listening to. So this will be each each instance that's on the subgroups, the stems, plus the main outs. I love this plugin. I really, really like it. I have some mixing coming up very soon, and I'm looking forward to using this because I'm all for getting something to sound good kind of right as the very first state in terms of when you're mixing. I like having things that aren't really competing against each other, and I don't like over-processing. In, in fact, I'm trying to keep my mixing very simple these days, put a lot of focus on balance, making sure that there's frequencies emphasized in certain spots, but this plugin is pretty amazing in terms of what it can do and i can't really think of anything that i have that does this type of thing that's another thing for plugins uh, at least for me personally is if i already have plugins that do you know an opto style of compression very very well then unless a new plugin comes out that does it in a new way or or it just annihilates the other ones i'm really not that interested in it so for that reason i i tend to stick to just a handful of stuff that i like and it's very hard for new plugins to make their way into my workflow right away but this one is really special in terms of the way it just kind of brings things it does what i would intuitively think if i listened to a source like a bass guitar and i said Oh, that's awesome, but it needs a little bit of point, needs a little bit more saturation. Maybe I'll dial in some third order or second order harmonic distortion. Now I need to have a dynamic EQ to tame this, and then I'll shape it, and then I'll compress it, bring the level up. It kind of does, I'm not saying it does everything, but it kind of does something like that, just right out of the gate. So for that reason, I really, really like this. Anyways, like I said, Waves IDX Intelligent Dynamics Processor. Currently, you can head over to the Waves website and sign up for this, Black Friday 2024. I'm doing this November 29th, 2024. I don't know what the cost is going to be after. I don't know how much it's going to be. But if you're seeing this video around that, um, definitely head over, get this plug in. Uh, it's free for a limited time. I think you're really, really going to enjoy it. Anyways, my name is Marcus Huskins. Hope you enjoyed the video and I will catch you in the next one. Cheers.